As the weather warms up in the spring and summer, serpents will start to come out of their winter hideouts and inevitably, cross paths with humans in the farms, fields, homes, and even workplaces, one of the common misconceptions is that all snake bites are fatal, and that is not true, even though many may end with a trip to the emergency room, stay with us as we explain and give you 5 survival tips on how to survive a snake bite, meanwhile make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified on more discovery instinct videos like this, now let's get started. Study shows that there are only about 15% of snakes worldwide and 20% in the US that are venomous and can cause severe harm to humans through the poison in their venom. Of these, North America has the rattlesnake, coral snake, water moccasin, and copperhead, other venomous snakes are boomslang, cobra, inland taipans, black mamba, eastern tiger, banded krite, and so on. Most snakes can bite without leaving venom and this is called the dry bite, which often results in irritation at the site, the average snake bite will have some symptoms of swelling, bruising, fever, pain, and sometimes localized tissue damage, some people may also not feel the effects immediately, the symptoms may be delayed by hours or even days depending on the site. However, the most dangerous venomous snake bites can cause serious muscle paralysis, loss of limb or fingers, blurred vision, respiratory failure, internal bleeding, shocks, and if not treated death. It is best to avoid snake bites, and you can do that by not provoking them if you happen to cross their path, pay attention to where you walk, a snake likely won't bite unless you step on it. If you are on the field or farmland, carry a walking stick to tap the ground in front of you, if a snake feels threatened, it will be more likely to attack the stick. Wear boots and long pants or trousers to protect your ankles, feet, and lower limbs. When you are outdoors in the evenings or at night, wear a headlamp or carry a touch so you can see snakes before you have a surprise encounter. If you get bitten, regardless of the snake that bites you, make sure to raise an alarm if anyone is nearby, call 911 or your local emergency number, but while you wait in pain, here are 5 survival steps to take before the emergency services arrive. Number 1, move beyond the striking distance of the snake. Do not make the mistake of trying to kill the snake and worsening the situation with several bites, even a dying venomous snake is still dangerous, rather try to remember what the snake looks like, so you can describe it to the emergency service, and if possible, take a picture of the snake while moving away to a safe place to sit down, before the venom drops your blood pressure or breathing and you pass out and possibly hit your head. Number 2, keep calm and try to relax the body. As hard as it can get make sure to keep your body still and calm because this could slow down the spread of the venom in your body, do not try to cut the wound or suck out the venom, and do not use ice for snake bites, as it can cause further constriction of blood vessels leading to more tissue damage. Number 3, remove all tight clothing and jewelry. Jewelries like rings, watches, and bracelets can become a tourniquet if your limb starts to swell so it is necessary to remove them, also do not apply any rope or cloth tourniquet as these would worsen your odds of losing your life or limb. Number 4, position yourself properly. You need to position yourself in a way that the bite is at or below the level of your heart after a snake bite, this helps to slow the spread of venom through your system. Number 5, use epinephrine shot for any immediate anaphylaxis. If you begin to experience signs of anaphylaxis like swelling of the face, mouth, or throat, hives, difficulty breathing, or vomiting, use an epinephrine auto-injector like EpiPen if you have one, be careful about taking pain relievers as many may interfere with the normal blood clotting system, and when you combine that with the potential blood clotting problem from the venom, it can lead to severe internal bleeding. And there you have it, the emergency department often has anti-venom injections, which work by boosting our immune response after a snake bite, this will make you feel better while waiting for further evaluation or special treatment. I hope you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and hit the bell icon to be notified about upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, check out this next Discovery Instinct video.